and gentlemen, on this week in wrestling, singles competition for Ron Zombie. And of course, stepping to the outside, there you see his New York Posse tag team partner, Donnie Rotten, as Zombie gets set to take on C.J. Summers, high flyer out of Seaside Heights, New Jersey. Knuckles, Nelson. Well, I'll tell you something right now. C.J. is C.J. Uh-oh, look out, CJ to the outside now. Uh, perhaps you might think that's a little cowardly, or perhaps it's a wise maneuver, staying out of the way of the oncoming train known as Ron Zombie. Shot downstairs, shot upstairs by Ron Zombie. Big head butt backs his man up. Sends his man for the ride. Off the ropes, CJ ducks underneath. Oh, look out, a little loop de loop and a nice maneuver right there by CJ Summers. Off the far side now. Oh, look at this now. CJ all over Ron Zombie, and that's what you gotta do. Hit and run. Drop, kick, and to the outside goes Ron Zombie. Well, CJ starting quickly here, trained by Iron Mike Shop down in New Jersey, and uh, he's obviously going to try to use his quickness to attain some sort of advantage against the New York Posse. There's a good look right there at CJ Summers, aspiring to. Uh oh, look out here. Summers! Summers! Catapulting oh. himself to the outside and sends both Zombie and Rotten down to the hard concrete floor. I gotta admit, that was a tremendous senton over the top rope by CJ, and he continues the assault. CJ, big forearm smash on Zombie. Nice reversal right there by Zombie. Oh, big boot right in the jaw, Knuckles Nelson. Look at Look that. Now, Steve! Huge leg drop. That's it, this could be over, two, nope. C.J. Summers sneaking out the back door, just barely getting that right shoulder up. Well, the odds are against them with this matchup with a two-on-one situation, but Larry Huntley, a no-nonsense official in there, right, Brian? Absolutely. Now setting him up for what would appear to be a standing vertical suplex blocked by C.J. Look at this, rolls it, oh no. Zombie wisely putting the brakes on. Look out, misses with the clothesline, shot downstairs. C.J. now with, oh! Sort of a modified pedigree right there. And all that matters is Zombie went face first into the canvas. One, two, and ugh, almost three right there. Well, the way CJ's posturing to the crowd on the three count, he's not going to get a victory over a veteran like Ron Zombie, original member of the New York Posse. Couple of roundhouse rights and a headbutt. Oh, that's not going to do anything to the hard-headed Ron Zombie. Oh. Big time clothesline there. Wow. Look at this. Oh, another one. Shades of Jake the Snake Roberts right there as Zombie ah, wraps around his man. And I'll tell you something, man. that is an original maneuver there by Ron Zombie. CJ Summers going to wake up tomorrow morning, not be able to move his head. Now, that one quick question there about CJ Summers. The way he has half blonde and half dark hair, is that some sort of genetic defect? No, I believe it's called style. Now, look at this. A blatant choke by Ron Zombie, but he's being completely distracted by the referee Huntley being distracted by Donnie Ryan. That's what you call teamwork. That's right. That's what it's all about when you're a team. And uh, like it or not, they are successful. Huntley pulling his drawers up there. Very impressive. CJ now, unfortunately, with that genetically defective hair, is not going to help him at all. Well. I don't think either way. I don't, I don't think it's a help or a hindrance. You know what I would do if I was him? I would take that belt up around my waist and I would choke the life out of Zombie. Yes, indeed you would. Oh, no, Zombie missed It's a roll. Look at this. This is it. One, two, and oh. Whoa. Again, almost a three count, almost a major upset here on This Week in Wrestling. Use the belt, Summers. Use the belt. Rolls his man over, does Zombie. A nonchalant, lackadaisical cover by Zombie. Brian Webster, do you get the impression that Ron Zombie is not taking this match all that seriously? I get that impression uh, very much so, yes, sir. I'll tell you something. Look at that. Oh, look at this now. Right in front of the referee, and now they distract Huntley. I'm telling you right look now. Look at this. Ah, see, two on one, that's not going to go. I miss not at all. Yamaguchi right now. Man, look at those booty fans at race. You know, if Yamaguchi were in that ring, a lot of this chicanery probably wouldn't be going on. Who? Who did you say? Yamaguchi. God bless you. Oh, there's a boot to the midsection. Oh, boy. Look at this now. CJ setting up Ron Zombie. Takes it full oh, ride. Tornado DDT out of the corner. Man, oh, man. That could do it right there. Huntley now with a very effective count. 
CJ trying to get the fans behind him, trying to get some energy back together again, and uh, trying to get himself back into this matchup and gain a victory over Ron Zombie. Well, like I said, Zombie didn't seem to be taking this match very seriously, and I think he probably should have because CJ is in the driver's seat. CJ wants to get a television title match with Dylan Cage, and if he gets a victory over Zombie, it may happen. Well, he's had quite a few. Oh, oh nice kick there. He's had quite a few losses here lately on this week in wrestling, but you know as well as I that that can turn around in one match. Absolutely. And CJ's trying to do that right now with a couple of kicks in the midsection. And all it takes is an impressive win over a man with uh, more experience and who's uh, somewhat larger than yourself to catapult you right to the top. Oh! Neck breaker right there, and you can forget about it, ladies and gentlemen. Ron Zombie, and uh, we might as well say the New York Posse victorious because he certainly had quite a bit of help from Johnny Rotten. Very impressive maneuver there by Ron Zombie. And this is This Week in Wrestling.